here at Bickley Vale Farm in McLaren Vale today, um, having a chat with Di, who's a long-term stall holder, really involved in the market for almost 19 years. We celebrate our birthday uh, this weekend, which is really exciting. I stepped out of the car to the most beautiful smells. The property is just amazing. There's so much to, I'm looking forward to learning lots about what Di brings to the market and why she keeps coming 19 years on. Yes. We're here on Hunt Road, so yes. we're literally yes. a five minute drive from the market. Right. Um, yeah. Tell us a little bit more about the, the size of the property, the property and what else have you got The here? property, I feel incredibly fortunate and blessed to be on this property. My parents bought the property, it was a dairy farm back in 1968. Once the cows were off the property, it started revegetating itself. There's a wonderful creek, the Breakneck Creek runs through okay. under there. And with the market just down the road, it became logical and sensible to me to make a little market garden. So we've got corn, yes. all sorts of things. What, yes. what will yeah. people expect to see? Obviously your seedlings are there all yeah. the time. Yeah. Um, what, what sort well, of My specialty is salad greens because I feel they're, they're, I, I started on those because they're an intensive crop doesn't need a huge area. So the salad greens are all year round for me and then we supplement with, with other seasonal crops yep. as, what? as they come through. That's a good season, you'll have mm. lots of corn and, yeah. and whatever, that's yeah. really great. Yeah. That's Delicious. the thing of farming, it, it, you never count your chickens before no, they hatch either. Right. <laughs> so you were saying, Di, that you started very early on, so 19 mm. years, next week we'll celebrate yes. our birthday and head into our 20th year of trading and you've been a part of that almost right from the very beginning. Yeah. So it was a business incubator for Absolutely. you to start what you're Absolutely. doing here at Bickley Vale Farm. Um, 19 years on, mm. did you imagine when you started out, rolled into the Alma mm. car yeah. park that you'd still be doing it? And you've got a very loyal following <laughs> of people that um, come to you for their seedlings and growing advice. And if they've got it, I know my father recently got some great tips from oh. you with growing his, um, growing his tomatoes. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, it's really no, nice to have that wealth of knowledge in the market that you love to share. Over the years, being able to witness, I guess, the growth of gardeners, people finding the huge benefits that they're to be had through growing their own food. Mm. And, and that, of course, increased dramatically, wonderfully, through the beginning of COVID. The seedlings became like the toilet paper. Mm. <laughs> you couldn't, yeah. you, we were yeah. absolutely There was people out. hoarding toilet paper yeah. and hoarding <laughs> seedlings. I, <laughs> If, they, if they'd run out of food, they certainly weren't yeah. going to have the, the results so that of their work. It was a huge then. time, it was a boom time. Passionate times of the market, but truly when, when customers come back, there might have been a young couple and they went off tentatively with their, with their box of seedling. And a few weeks later, I come back and they just picked their first broccoli or their first yes. tomato or their, yeah. the excitement yeah. and the passion that yeah. people feel is, yeah. is, is, is just incredible. You'd have lots of customers that would have grown up at the market and you would see yes. them, I guess, as smaller <laughs> children and they're yeah. coming back perhaps yeah. with their own families. Because the, the regularity of the market, the weekends come around so quickly. Yeah. My stock is low in the sense of because it's turning over the whole time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm sort of, I mean, all those lettuces will sell this weekend, mm. yeah. for example, yeah. and, and the next ones are coming through. The beauty of gardening is you get the four seasons, so you get the changes. You mm. get the tomatoes and the, and the zucchinis and the cucumbers yeah. in summertime. Mm. Lettuce is all year round. Silver beets and things are all year round. Yeah. What should I grow that's foolproof? <laughs> oh, Jen. What can everyone <laughs> grow? <laughs> the, the, the silver beets truly proved to be one of the most popular, uh -huh. the perpetual spinach. And the yes. People like the greens. And that's um, really, really good for you. So that's a good absolutely. thing. Easy to grow. Absolutely. Salads are ideal. You, mm. don't, you can do them in a pot or a tub. Mm. You don't need a space. Um, and then you'll be able to pick your fresh leaves time and again. People mm. say how wonderful it is yeah. just to pick fresh leaves. Big. So what should people be thinking about planting or preparing and, and getting ready to plant well, now? Well, it's been such an incredible summer for gardeners. Mm. We get a little bit of heat and then it gets cool again. Yeah. And, and we're in a cool spell now, so you, it won't be long and people will be looking for the broccolis and collies and kale. Yeah. They can all start to go in. So. Mm. And you'll have plenty of those available at the markets, people to come and yes, hopefully. get the advice on how to <laughs> grow it, how to prepare yeah. their soil before, because it's not just a matter of, yeah. I guess, shoving it in the ground, you want to do a little bit of work to prepare your garden you get a better bed. And, result. Mm. The yeah. more you put in, the better the result. A little bit of compost and fertiliser. And so if I buy some seedlings from you at the market, Di, do you have time at the market to That's have a chat to me? The beauty of the market, Jenny. The beauty really of the market. Is. Many do put a lot of thought and planning into mm. what they're doing. It's a, it's a big project, basically. So I mix all my own potting mix. Because I'm certified organic, all your inputs need to be certified organic. We had SA composters at the market in those days. He had the stall there. Um, so I started experimenting with their fine compost and still doing it. Yeah. Still make my own mix. Fantastic. So, and the fertiliser is the key. I have to bring it down from Queensland, but it's a certified organic fertiliser that 
that is really effective. Time and again people sort of seem to make comment that they appreciate the organic certification of the seedlings. We also grow things in what you can see in little reusable pots, the Jiffy pots. Um, they really love those because the whole plant then just goes straight Ah, okay. In. Can I pick one up? Yeah. And have a look? Yeah, take a little oh, pass yeah. yeah. So that just, and there's, just no... there's no transplant shock at all to yeah. the plant. They just, it just and no goes waste. In the that's pot. fantastic. Mm. Mm. And that's what more people are switching into the don't want plastic to take no, home now. That's they, right. They really are seeking out the um, environmentally friendly alternatives. Mm. Yeah. So we've had a great visit here at Bickley Vale Farm today. I've learnt so much from Di. Beautiful property to visit. This is where it all starts, the germination process of these little seedlings that you'll find at the Wollonga Farmers Market every Saturday. We're open from 8am until 12 noon. You'll find Di across in the recreation park. She's looking forward to sharing all of her great knowledge with you. So come and buy some seedlings. We hope to see you at the Wollonga Farmers Market this Saturday.